Hey buddy! Thank you for tuning in to this YouTube channel where we speak about uh, medical cannabis use as well as recreational cannabis use for anyone, everyone 21 years of age and up. Um, as always, our show is brought to you by our sponsors, Zookin.com, um, where you can go on to the website and find your favorite strain, the store that has it, and how much. And also Caribbean Smoothies 3X uh, Blunt Wraps. So if you like smoking Blunt Wraps, you can always pick up a Caribbean Smoothie uh, 3X Blunt Wrap from our website. Um, pretty much we're going to sit here, have a good session with the... Uh, with another industry professional, um, a good friend of mine, I like to introduce to the show, Ms. Julie Guderson. How are you? Good, thanks. All right. Um, now, uh, Julie here. Um, just to let you guys know, she first of all came uh, from the medical marijuana industry here in this uh, Washington state. So she was an MMJ business owner. She was uh, one of the vendors. Uh, maybe even one of the first vendors, uh, the almost, pioneers almost. down at the Northwest Cannabis Market, uh, where I, I met her. Um, <clears throat> she also appeared, if I'm not mistaken, on our one of the local news channels, the Cairo Seven or Q Thirteen. Yeah, I think Channel Five or something came through. Once. Yeah, it came through. Interview Miss Julie and had had her on there. Also, so, Swedish TV came through. Once. Swedish TV. She's international. <laughs> I know international. Yes. So you're you're one of the first uh, guests here, so I, I I greatly thank you for being on my show, um, and one of the reasons why I started this show um, is because after being in the industry, meeting people like you, networking, um, I am constantly approached as to how do I get started in the cannabis industry, and I'm sure that's a question you've probably heard countless times over and over again, especially while going through the uh, medical marijuana industry. It was a lot of budding business. Uh, how did you get started um, in the cannabis industry? You know, I just, I loved smoking pot when I was 16 years old, I started smoking. Um, I always thought of it as medicine, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't. I had a career, I worked at the horse races for 30 years, I worked with senior citizens for a couple of years, and then I got my medical card like in 07 or something, and, and realized, my gosh, this is pretty cool. So I started volunteering at Emerald Cross as a bud tender, before I went to the Northwest Cannabis Farmers Market and was puffing stuff for a while, and then Julie. I remember that as a matter of fact, when yeah. uh, when when my wife and I first arrived, um, the very first time we went to the Northwest Cannabis Market White Center. White Center. Uh, we were walking through with our I'm New stickers. I thought I had it around here, um, and you were actually being judged on your award-winning fudge some medicated fudge that she used to make uh, in, in the medical marijuana industry um, as puffin stuff. As puffin stuff. <clears throat> That's awesome. So, those were the days though. We sampled out a lot of medicated tea. Mm -hmm. At one point I was sampling a thousand cups of tea every three weeks. Um, for those of you who came to the market, who visited us, who frequented us, Whenever you went into that back room, and so many people knew her as the tea lady. The tea lady. The tea lady. Miss Julie. Miss Julie, the tea lady. She stands right back there. You come in, you're new. She's like, hey, would you like a cup of tea? And it's medicated tea. And, and I wasn't even a big tea fan. Every once in a while, yes, I'll definitely take some. And it just it relaxed you so much. It gave you a real ease. You know, It, it really put you at ease. And it's funny because my job was so high strung. I drink her tea and you know it's when kind of a comfort food it really was what was that experience like for you working at the cannabis market dealing with at, at this time medical patients people who really needed this as a medicine incredible you there we're not going to be able to recreate those times no doubt the the amount of people we saw with the amount of different situations you know and it was a comfortable place for the people to talk about the situation with you and you could give them ideas on ways to medicate not just smoking or something. They could be eating it, they could be drinking it, they could be wearing it as a salve, mm -hmm. taking it as a capsule. Mm -hmm. I remember there were uh, several patients that would come into the market um, that specifically came there for Ms. Julie. Some of them, their conditions were so debilitating that <clears throat> they would have to be helped into the building and then we would provide them with a wheelchair 
And at that time, we would either go get Miss Julie so she can come tend to her patient, or we will wheelchair them over to Miss Julie. Yeah, we had a couple, definitely a couple of those patients. In fact, I worked with one of those ladies up to not, not quite too terribly long ago. Um, you know, just extra special patients that you really, you can see how you're helping them and how they need you to help them. And what exactly, um, you were a business owner, what exactly did you, I mean, we talked about the fudge, so you made medibles. Uh, to, to tell us more about the- Create a variety of medibles, a little bit of flour, uh, tinctures, lotions, tea, medicated tea, uh, and fudge, brownies, butterscotch bars, rice crispy Her snickerdoodle treats. cookies. Snickerdoodles. Oh my God. We had our butter tested, of course, and that's how we figured out the milligrams for all the baked goods. And, yeah. That is awesome. Did it take much for you to to find out exactly what worked? Because uh, we know a lot of bakers, some would use butter, some would use coconut oil, some would use vegetable oil. Did it, was it a lot of trial and error, or did you already have a background in baking, and all you did was take your, your love for, for cannabis and for helping people with your love for baking and just mix it into a pot of goodness? Well, pretty much, pot. Yeah, <laughs> pot. Um, the melting pot. Pretty much uh, old school butter, crock pot, make your own butter, and cook with the butter. So I kind of avoided using RSO or, or other. Any particular reason? Well, I just wanted to be old school. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to keep it basic. I could speak to what I knew about for sure and what I had done for, for years. So. And you had your routine already down to a, to, to, to a science, right? You and your oh, partners. Yeah. We, yes, yes, yes. Like I say, we had the butter tested so we could take it from there and figure out how many milligrams were at each baked good. And I love the snickerdoodles. I would come into work in the morning uh, from our coffee stand. We would make medicated cups of coffee. So I would get a vanilla latte, heavily medicated. And then some of her snickerdoodle well, cookies. It is. 100 milligrams plus the coffee was another maybe 150, 200 milligrams. I was riding out on 300 milligrams of THC. Goodness, my body just so relaxed. And, and, and then <clears throat> relaxing you as well, myself, and then what we're we able to do talk to patients, talk to patients and help them realize how good they can feel too. Yeah. And, um, and you've, been, you've been in the industry for, for quite a while. Right, you're your OG, Julie G, the OG. Um, what, <laughs> what, uh, what are some of your, your, your likes and dislikes about the industry? Uh, the recreational is obviously the way we're moving. Uh, now that the medical's gone, I just wanna see fair prices being offered to the patients and the proper products and um, you know, not pesticides in my medicine. And as soon as they can do all those things, I'm th I think it'll all work out. No, they are good. Uh, good producers who are growing good cannabis, even though it's recreational, but it is pesticide free. But then, yes, you have some growers, as we know, okay, that are not doing it right, okay, and we have to get them out. And, of okay, 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 and those are the numbers that I must be seeing or hearing about. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, we don't want that. It's medicine, I gotta figure out my niche. Um, any advice that you would have for, for there you go. Uh, n new people coming into the industry, people who well, just got in and was like, you know, hey, uh, this is what I want to do. Let's say they already have their their target in mind. Hey, I want to be a bud tender. Hey, I want to be a business owner. I want to be a baker. You know, a, a weed candlestick maker. What would be your first bit of advice to these new people breaking into the industry? Mm, too bad you didn't get in a long time ago. <laughs> you late. My first advice would be to patience. Since the medibles are so expensive in the rec markets right now and the milligrams are so low, make your own stuff. <coughs> make your own butter and bake your own baked goods. But uh, that's what I would say to patients. Now you know uh, a lot of patients now because Washington just recently lost their medical marijuana uh, program. Um, they said that we're gonna you know, integrate it into the recreational market. Um, I've been working in the recreational market that's there right now, little to no integration. Um, I believe in an earlier segment I've covered with, with, with a guest that uh, there is one store that we mentioned that happened to have some sort of program for mm -hmm. medical uh, uh, patients, uh, but not many stores are on the bandwagon with that. Yeah. Uh, many of them are doing it. 
And that's my um, understanding too. Yeah. Hopefully, more and more people will. The classes will get better. The the cl the, the the actual classes that people have to take will get better and teach them more stuff that they actually need to know. And then hopefully, more places will have medical endorsements. Yeah. You know, you were a pioneer over here. What advice do you have for the pioneers oh, really? over there? Really, get on the wave. Pick a pick of something you like to do. Bake or. Or if you have access to good medical marijuana, I guess. Medical marijuana markets are the way to go. Where there's lots and lots and lots of vendors, it gives such more, uh, more variety for the patients. It's definitely the way to go. So I would suggest any state would benefit from having medical marijuana markets. Uh, being at the market, uh, I mean, I'm sure you have <laughs> so many stories about things that, that have happened there. Um, but now the market is no more. What are some of the things that, that you're going to be missing? Well, certainly the the helping of the patients and the access all the patients had to all the vendors, and as well as the camaraderie between the vendors, we had fun, fun, fun times. Yeah. Yeah. Always working together for for to to reach the same goal, which was to help out these patients. Yes, and putting things together, kind of like a puzzle. There's one patient; she would get her juice from Rick up front, and then she'd come back and get her tea from me. And to this day, she. You know, can't thank Rick and I both. And it was just like pieces of a puzzle being put together that we were able to do because we were all there. And each one of us knew what the other people had to offer right. to help the patients. So you brought some wax with you. Um, mm -hmm. and, and one of those waxes, or maybe two of those waxes, come from other fellow vendors. All three of them do. Oh, from, from the Northwest Cannabis Market. And, uh, uh, and, and Black Diamond. And from Black Diamond. After Northwest Cannabis Market closed, we went out to Black Diamond. That's right. They went out. To, I, I went to visit her table out there in Black Diamond. Big shout out to them as well. Beautiful they they market. actually stood there to the very last day. They made it to the very last day of the medical program. And, and that, that last awesome. day was incredible. There were lines to get in to, to, to come in and everybody to. How did you up. feel on that day? I mean, I'm sure it was A proud and sad. Surreal. No doubt. Music in the background. They, that, that song by Bob Dylan, We're Gonna Snow On Your Way, and you're da, 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 you know, that song was on, and everybody was just enjoying the day. It was great. Awesome. Yeah. So let's take some dabs. Okay. I'm just gonna medicate, take a little hit. Uh, All right, this one's called uh, Gorilla Glue. This is some Gorilla Glue. Now we have the, uh, let's see here, we actually have some Gorilla Glue flour. Gorilla glue, some flour right there. It's a nice medicine. It is an indica, is it not? Yes. Actually, it's like one of those double negative ones. It's an indica, yep. but it's a tea, but it's Well, it is a hybrid. Yeah. And then Gorilla glue or Gorilla glue number one is an indica. And then you have Gorilla glue number four, which is the sativa. The sativa dominant hybrid of it. Yeah. Now, if I don't look all, all of my age, I... This is ridiculous. So, when did I you mean, get when did you get well, into dabbing? I guess twelve or thirteen, two thousand twelve or two thousand thirteen, at the Northwest Cannabis Farmers Market. Awesome. Well, she made me one. What the heck? How awesome! All right. Well, that oh, and which it. one is this? Uh, it's Gorilla Glue. The Gorilla Glue. The email is nice. Now you have Alex's very distinct cough. Anywhere in the market, suddenly you hear this. There we go, that's it. We'd like to thank you very much for coming on the yeah, show with us, thank you. dabbing, smoking, uh -huh. um, and of course, medicating, medicating. Um, getting it right, getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, all the contact information for, for the OG, Julie G, well, that will be in the uh, description. Um, if you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like to see, go ahead and make a request, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, we like to tell people, thank you, come again. <laughs>